Welcome to the CNIT Harry Potter on-screen demonstration. Let's begin by setting up the board. CNIT Harry Potter Edition comes with a unique flex time game board that can be fully extended for a full game or folded into a circle for short play. CNIT is played with two dice, a six-sided die to determine how far your game piece moves and an eight-sided die to determine what type of challenges you face. Reference cards are provided to help identify the different challenge categories and should be handed out to each of the players. The question cards are split into three categories. Each of the question cards has a question from each category on the front and the corresponding answers on the back. Use the timer option on the DVD to limit how long players take on question cards. You can set the length of the timer from 10 to 30 seconds from the main menu. Place the house points cards on the board and select a player to operate your DVD player's remote control. Refer to them as the DVD master. Choose your playing pieces, place them at the start location on the board, and you're ready to play. Start the game by rolling the numbered die to determine who goes first. Start your turn by rolling both dice and then moving the number of spaces shown on the numbered die. You then attempt to successfully complete a challenge from the category shown on the category die. When you win a challenge, you roll the dice again and take another turn. When you win a challenge while on a flu powder space, you move twice the distance shown on the numbered die. If you roll a house points card, your turn is over. Follow the instructions on the card, then pass the dice to the next player. If you roll a My Play, My Play is chosen from the DVD menu and you attempt to answer the challenge that appears on screen. After you've played Seen It many times, you may start seeing the same movie clips over again. Don't worry. Each My Play clip has multiple questions associated with it, so you never know what you will be asked. On an All Play, all players chosen from the menu and all of the players attempt to solve the question. If the roller of the dice shouts out the correct answer first, they roll the dice again and take another turn. If someone else answers first, the roller's turn is over and the dice are handed to the next player. The player who answered the challenge correctly has the choice of either giving another player a house points card or moving their game piece forward one space. If more than one player answers an all-play question at the same time, a tiebreaker is used to determine the winner. The DVD remote can be used to pause, fast-forward or skip a portion of a challenge. The DVD shuffles itself whenever you start a new game, so you'll never see the same all-play challenge repeated during a single session. If you get an all-play that you have seen in a previous game, simply hit the return button on your remote and a new all-play challenge will appear. On a roll of player's choice, the player can choose from any of the card categories or a DVD My Play question. OK, now that you understand how to play, let's talk about how to win. When a player reaches the All Play to Win stop sign, they are only one All Play to Win challenge away from winning the game. If they lose the challenge, they move to the outer circle of Final Cut and pass the dice on to the next player. The player who won the challenge has the option of giving another player a house points card or moving forward three spaces. Remember, players in the Final Cut rings are immune to house points cards. In Final Cut, the player chooses Final Cut from the DVD menu and follows the simple on-screen instructions. If they answer all the questions correctly, they win the game. If they miss a question, they move in one ring and have to wait for their next turn to try again. That's it. You are now ready to play Seenit Harry Potter Edition. Good luck, have fun, and be sure to keep an eye out for exciting new Seenit games and game packs.